got green beans, spinach. I brought some eggs. Also got some Mexican cheese and salami, got more string cheese, and then I also got some tortillas to make quesadillas with, and also got some uncured turkey bacon, got another bag of lemons for my lemon water, and then also got a thing of uh, mango chunks. One clove of garlic, super random I know. Got one clove of garlic and then we also got some Alaskan sockeye salmon. Just the usual salads. We got these... <gasps> this, <gasps> oopsies. We got these spinach and cheese stuffed shells. I've had these before, they're super good. Um, and then I also got another one of the chicken soup dumplings that are viral on TikTok. And then these butternut squash mac and cheese these only come out um during the fall season so these are like limited edition kind of not really but they release these every year i never tried these yet though but francis also picked up these pb and j sticks um we saw a guy grab like six boxes of these so we thought that maybe it's actually really good so we picked up one of those also got a bag of sushi rice beef short ribs we're literally starving right now but we got barbecued chicken um, if you watched It's Okay to Not Be Okay, it's a K-drama. This was actually featured in it. I'll try to find a picture and insert a clip here. So I actually messed up and it was crash landing on you, not It's Okay to Not Be Okay. I can't believe I messed this up, but yeah, this is it. But, um, we got... What, what is this? I need assistance. I can't open it. This open. Okay, there's one. This one is the original BB Wings. This is like one of the more, um, this is like their best seller apparently. This is the menu. So I got the BB Wings, which is this one. And then we also got the Honey Garlic Wings, which is this one. So it's more saucy, but they're both really good. Um, there's actually a location in Koreatown, but I don't know where else they have this, but yeah, we're gonna dig in and our internet is down. So this is fun. <gasps> All right, see you guys later. We went to Mellow Mellow. I actually first heard of this locate or first heard of this establishment because they have a location in, I think San Gabriel and I always wanted to try it, but every time we're in that area, we never end up getting it. But they recently opened a location in Koreatown. I think they literally just opened. So I was really excited to see it when we, um, drove by since we did get um, barbecue chicken so i got a few things this is um i forget what these are called but i'll make sure to include the names of each one in the subtitles so i got this one this one comes with um sago i think so i already know i'm really gonna like this one and then i also got this one um I think this one comes with coconut jelly i'm not too sure like i said i'll include the name in the subtitles and then they also had a special going on if you um, purchased two um, desserts and you follow them on Instagram, you also get a free single. So this one was free. Um, I think this one's just plain coconut jelly. So we actually ended up mixing the coconut jelly with the mango river, which was a little too sweet. But after mixing the two, it actually ended up tasting super good. So yeah, it ended up working out in the end but it's a single they call it a single so this one was free and yeah i'm like super super excited to try these out um i'm mainly really excited for this because i love mango sago so i'm super excited to try this I mean my personal laptop with all my chargers and I'm just gonna pack my work laptop also and I'm also just gonna pack my notebooks that I use for work uh, my pencil case of course my wallet and a hair tie just in case usually need a hair tie at work 
And that's about it. Then for shoes, I'm just gonna be wearing these Nike trainers. Is this too matchy matchy with my olive jacket? It might be. I'm gonna head out, I'll see you guys later. dinner now and i'm making this from trader joe's keep frozen until ready to cook okay great we already did that part it's been frozen this entire time since i bought it and then it says place beef packet and sauce packet on countertop until called for until called for what the fuck does that mean you all need one tablespoon of cooking oil okay i have that Warm skillet over medium low heat, add broccoli and stir until warm through and any excess water has evaporated about four to five minutes. Move from skillet and set aside. Okay, so I gotta cook this separately. What? Where they do that at? Seriously. Okay, I don't have my tripod, but this will have to do. Okay, here's that. Do I have any more oil in this? I don't. I don't! Okay, so it says to warm up some oil. Just be using olive oil. Bam, okay, that's good. Just wait for that to heat up. In the meantime, let me refill this. I can't even open it. Let's move this around ten. bag of pork is it beef no it's beef broccoli it comes with a bag of beef and it also comes with the sauce packet i think i want to keep this up for later oh my battery's dying sad she's dead didn't feel like cooking tonight so we're at shake shack i'm so excited i've been craving this for a couple of days but it's lit this was So this is a spread, I got the fries, um, bacon, avocado, shack burger, and this is a shack sauce and ketchup, and just an ice water, what you get? Just a double shack burger. Oh, double shack burger, that looks good too. Yeah, and fries, Ready and sauces too. to Whole Foods to buy some gumbo. If you know, you know. This is what I came to Whole Foods for. Yes, chocolate walnuts. So I wanted to show you guys um, two things I picked up at um, Whole Foods. I kind of vlogged it earlier, but I just re-upped on this oat milk that I like for my coffee after trying multiple oat milks to use with my iced coffee in the morning i really think that this is my one true love 
if you haven't tried this yet. I know it's a little hard to find. I usually find mine at Whole Foods and sometimes I find it at Target, but it depends on which Target I go to. But Whole Foods usually has this, um, the barista edition. But um, yeah, this is really good with my um, iced coffee in the morning. I did show you guys this one in my other vlog, but I honestly don't really like it because it's kind of gritty. So I kind of choke on it a little bit when I have it with my coffee. But um, yeah, this one's really good. I highly recommend. And then I saw this on TikTok and um, I wanted to pick it up as well. And I know that they only sell this at Whole Foods too. It's the Leven. Levin, Levain, I don't know how to say it, but it's a bakery that um, only exists in New York, I believe. Um, but I picked up the chocolate chip walnut one just to have a little more texture. Um, it's not meant to be like a thin, crispy cookie. It's more of um, like a girthy, thick, crunchy, textury cookie, as you can see in the picture. I was going to make this tonight, but I think I'm a little too full, so I might just have to make this tomorrow. Um, but yeah. Oh, there. That's how you pronounce it. Leven. It's pronounced Leven Bakery. Interesting. Okay, well, now we know. It's Leven Bakery. Anyways, um, I'll just keep you guys updated on when I do make this and see how I like it. But, yep, these are the two that I decided to pick up today. What's up you guys? You know what time it is. It's coffee time. Um, so today I'm just gonna be doing the usual ice um, Leggero pod. This is one of my favorites. It just makes everything super easy. Um, just ready to hit go. You guys saw me haul this yesterday. I got the Oatly Barista. I got the Oatly Barista edition. So this is brand new, and then I'm just gonna add some of the pumpkin spice oat milk in there that I also talked about. This stuff is literally so good. I mean, like cannot fathom how good it is. I just put a splash because she's a little sweet, and then you can always just add more after if it's not sweet enough. I freaking hate opening like new cartons of like milk because I always get anxiety that it's gonna like um spill. bit more of that and definitely a little bit more of this too okay I think that should be it. Mm. much better so I wanted to quickly mention this candle that I got at Trader Joe's um, I buy this almost every year ever since I discovered it and it is just the vanilla pumpkin scented candle and they do only release this um, in the fall so if you see this at your Trader Joe's I highly recommend getting this candle if you want your house to smell like the fall season and just to really get into the feels and your entire house will literally smell like pumpkin pie and if you don't want that then maybe don't buy this but I love that so um, I really like this candle and it's super inexpensive as well I think this was only three dollars or something like that and it's a pretty like pretty decent size um, I'm actually about to light this right now even though it's literally still pretty warm in LA and um, yeah but I just love this candle so much and I just thought I would share it with you guys but please um, don't sell it out, not like I have a lot of you guys following me anyways, but um, yeah, if you see it, go ahead and grab yourself one, see how you like it, but I just think it smells so delicious, and yeah. So I literally have this candle that Francis got me um, last Christmas from Anthropology. If you know, you know, this candle smells so good, but unfortunately, I think this was 
$34 for this candle and at first I didn't want to light it just because I knew how expensive it would be but I mean what's the point of a candle if you're not going to burn it but I just leave it here because it looks super cute <clears throat> and I just have this candle from Bath & Body Works the frosted cranberry this one smells super yum and I also have a pineapple mango one but I think I'm going to go ahead and store these away <clears throat> for now temporarily just so that it doesn't look super cluttered and so I can light um this one instead and this is just the entire setup in general um my cousin got me this for my birthday last year it was a birthday present slash housewarming gift i guess but it's just um a burn i don't know how to describe this but literally just you put this in here and it kills the flame for you and then this one is just a wick trimmer um if you don't know you're supposed to trim your wicks just to have the candle last a little longer but yep, i'm gonna go ahead and trim this one right now actually since it is pretty tall i want it to burn too fast okay As you can see, the wick is a lot shorter now, and I'm just going to go ahead and light her. And yeah, I'm excited to have my entire apartment smelling like vanilla pumpkin. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to show you guys the olive green blanket I bought. It's like actually pretty thick, but um... Yeah, she's like super cute on the couch. I'm like trying to fix it up for you guys. But um, this is her. I don't know why it's, the color's not really picking up on camera that great, but it's like a really nice green color in person. It kind of looks just like brown or gray on camera, but it's super cute. Um, I really like the color in person. I did show you guys that I was up at like I did show you guys that I was up at like 5 a.m. this morning. Um, so pre-order my um, iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I was kind of worried at first because I thought that my order didn't go through. But it did. This is the confirmation email that I got. I think the website was like bugging out this morning though because I'm sure everyone was on it trying to order their phone. But um, I was I was able to get it through and I'm picking up picking it up in store um, next Friday. And I tried to just see like I wasn't gonna order another one, but I tried to see what would happen if um, I tried to check one out like at 8 a.m. Um, and it said that the next available delivery slash pickup date would be the first week of October. So I'm glad that I did end up waking up at 5 a.m. instead of just waking up at my usual time and then trying to pre-order it since it seemed like people actually did um, buy it out. So yeah, I get my next week and I'm so excited because I'm just so over this phone. This phone is actually only 64 gigabytes, and for some reason I thought it was 128, but it was only 64 gigabytes. So every time I film on this and I run out of memory, I would have to go back into my album, delete videos, and then film more. But I ordered the 256 gigabyte one for the iPhone 13, so hopefully I don't come across that problem anymore. Because this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, so I did skip a generation, which was the iPhone 12. Um, so I thought it was about time I did get an upgrade, like two years I think is a good time to switch and just have a change. And I heard that the camera quality on the iPhone 13 is like a really big jump from the iPhone 12. So that's literally the reason why I just went ahead and got it. Plus I have the Apple card, so I'm not paying it all at once, I'm paying it um, monthly. 
and there's no APR if you have the Apple Card and you get um, cash back as well so and I'm also trading in my phone which is worth $500 so I wanted to trade in my phone before it um, lowers in value even more if I wait like next year or two years from now so yeah that's another like reason why I decided to just go for the iPhone 13 this year. I know a bunch of people just got the iPhone 12 last year and they opted not to upgrade this year, but I have the iPhone 11, so I skipped the 12, so I decided, you know what, iPhone 13 it is. And my monthly isn't that bad. Um, so yeah, that was just an update on that. I think my noodles are done boiling. I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'll update you guys later. Um, yeah. Bye. I wanted to quickly unbox this for you guys just because I've been meaning to use it but I don't think I officially unboxed it um, on my channel but shout out to my brother and his girlfriend for getting this for me for my birthday. I was not expecting this at all but I'm super excited to test it out and see what kind of footage I can capture with it. Um, the reason why they got this for me was because um, if you watch my Hawaii vlog, we actually couldn't get any footage for when we went jet skiing. So he decided to just get me this so that I don't miss out on any more adventures in the future. But um, I actually already opened this with him just so that he could check it out too. He's super tech savvy like that so he was interested to see what it came with. For some reason this box was also super super difficult to open up when I first got it. but. Um, when I opened it up, it came with this GoPro box, so I really like this so that I don't have to worry about buying one or figuring out how I can store it, so this is like already a really big perk of buying this. And so if we open it up, it just comes with, um, I'm assuming this is the charger. Um, and it also came with an additional battery pack. Um, I think this is where you attach um, this, so I think it's supposed to, I forgot how he did it, I think it's supposed to go in this way. I could be completely lying. <laughs> I don't remember how he had this. Oh, you open it up like this. And once it clicks in like that, you can close this lever again to really secure it on there. But I think you can like tape this onto your helmet or whatever you decide to stick it onto so that you can have um, your GoPro on here and just have it above your head. But it has a 3M tape. As you can see, it has a 3M adhesive, so it should be very, very strong. Um, and then it also just came with instructions which I did not read <laughs> and yes it came with that and then it just comes with this tool I guess to I have no idea what this is for but it comes with one and then under here is just um it actually does come with a tripod it's super cute and very compact which I love um, if I can figure out how to just open it up so you can just set it down like this and of course the main attraction the GoPro itself I am so in love with this and I'm so excited to use it um, I have not even removed the stickers or anything like that yet because I'm a little scared to but um, eventually I will most likely but I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and see what kind of footage I can capture so the next couple of clips were captured on the GoPro and I would just like to say that the next clip in particular was me on the struggle bus. So please excuse it in advance. Thank you. Alright, so I got y'all on the wide lens now. I'm still playing around with my GoPro, so bear with me. But I have this for five minutes. I don't know if it's like good, but I don't want to burn the bottom of the cookies. I have like PTSD from like burnt cookies at the bottom. I don't think they're burnt though, but I'm gonna leave her in here to cool. Mmm. So far so good though. 